Okay, take a look on the board, and you got a couple problems like what we were working on in class today, where we are asking you to do some computations, some multiplication on this side, and some division here on some terms that are written in scientific notation. And what we talked about today in class is that with a multiplication problem, it's real easy to do some multiplication on numbers that are written in scientific notation because this is all multiplication, 7.22 times 10 to the first times 4.45 times 10 to the third. Uh, because that's all multiplication, remember that multiplication is commutative and associative. In other words, we can move these terms around however we want. As long as we multiply them all together, we're going to get the same result. So we can use the properties of exponents that we learned last week to multiply our 10 to the first and our 10 to the third together. So let's rewrite these so that we have the 10 to the first and the 10 to the third together. And then we'll put these other terms, the 7.22 and the 4.45 together. And again, the reason we can rewrite this is because of our commutative and associative properties of multiplication. It doesn't matter how we group the terms. It doesn't matter what order we place the terms in. As long as we're multiplying all of them, we're going to get the same result. Now, remember on this, we learned last week when we're multiplying powers that have the same base. 10 to the first is a power. 10 to the third is a power. They both have a base of 10. The rule tells us that we keep the base the same, and we add the exponents. 10 to the first times 10 to the third will give us 10 to the fourth. So now, let's multiply 7.22 and 4.45, and I think we would get something like 32.129 times 10 to the 4th. Now, because this number here is greater than 10, we know that this is not scientific notation, so we're going to move our decimal one place to the left, and make that 3.2129. And remember our mnemonic, when we move the decimal left, the exponent increases. So we're going to take that times 10 to the fifth power. And now we have a product written in scientific notation. Now a division problem, actually the easiest way to tackle a division problem when it's written in scientific notation Take it as two separate problems, 5.75 divided by 4.7, and then we'll multiply that by 10 to the 4th divided by 10 squared. Well, again, remember from last week when we were dividing powers with the same base, we learned a shortcut for that too. To divide powers with the same base, we will keep the base the same, and we subtract the exponents. 4 minus 2 is 2. So 10 to the 4th divided by 10 squared will give us 10 squared. 5.75 divided by 4.7 is going to give you about 1.22. And we're going to round that one. And now because 1.22, this number is at least 1 and less than 10, so this is already written in scientific notation, so that answer is good. Now that is how you would multiply and divide numbers that are written in scientific notation. Those come right off the worksheet I gave you tonight, so there's two of them done for you. Finish up the rest of them.